am Adrian Palmer, Editor-in-Chief of DTF Printing. Thank you for attending the DTF Printing T-Shirt Contest Awards. I hope everyone is having a really great show so far. So this is our uh, second competition. Um, and for this one, 60 plus participants received a blank UX print t-shirt and a downloadable file with the design created by Mike Ince um, with DTF Superstore. And they had about a month to test and print. And judging was completed here in Las Vegas by Scott Donovan of DuPont, Chuck Northcutt of iGroup Technologies, and Jeremy Pales of DTF Superstore. And judges critiqued the following categories, color accuracy, graininess, softness slash feel, brightness of white, under base alignment, and stretch. So as I mentioned, this is our second contest of the year. Our inaugural contest was announced at DTF Expo um, earlier this year in February. So shout out to Gerald Gelito of Rooch Studio, who was the winner of the first contest. Um, and before I announce the winner, um, I wanted to let the judges share a few words on the judging experience and maybe even share what was the biggest difference between this contest and the one earlier this year. One of the, one of the things, and I judged the uh, one at DTM Expo, and there was less variance the first time we did this. There was like a really wide array of like colors, of ways people treated it. Um, one of the things I like that Mike did with this graphic is he was a little bit mean to you guys because that teal that's in the word shirt up there is really hard to nail with CMYK. And the other thing he did was he put some blacks in there that weren't a true deep black. So if you didn't catch that, sometimes you didn't knock stuff out that somebody else did. So I think everybody, I saw this the last time too, is everybody's got white figured out, right? We've got white, like we can get white to print on a black shirt and it looks great. Um, but the other thing I found interesting is it doesn't, and I'm gonna say this coming from DTF Superstore, it doesn't matter what printer you're using. Because we saw some people that got top, like second or third place that were using a printer that's two years old. So it's not about necessarily just the printer. It's about dialing your printer in, being confident with it, and then understanding how to handle your artwork and your rip software. So knowledge is so much more powerful in this game than the actual printer you're using. Now there are some limitations with some printers for sure, but I would encourage you, maybe instead of just chasing what the next big thing is, is like really understand your printer. Um, we got folks that are using two and three year old printers that are getting really great results. So just. Get to know your printer really, really intimately. Get to understand your RIP software, and that's what will make you guys successful. And paying really close attention to the graphic. Thanks, Jeremy. And yeah, shout out again to Jeremy, Chuck, and Scott for judging, and Zach Acorn judged earlier this year. So thanks, Zach, for that as well. Okay, so the winner of the DTF Printing T-shirt contest winner, they receive a $500 gift card to DTF Superstore a trophy, a digital badge, and of course, bragging rights, best part. So uh, yeah, drum roll. The winner is... Woo! Spencer Chernoff from Limitless Transfers. Congratulations. There you go, Spencer. And I'm gonna hold this for a second. I'm gonna read off. Um... Okay, so Spencer with limited, limitless transfers um, used. Uh, do you want to use? You want to just say the machine and everything that you use? You want to talk about it for a little bit? I can. Yes, Spencer here. Go ahead. Um, so we started with a Coldesi printer, Coldesi Games. Uh, Fire. And. Uh, he kind of nailed it. It doesn't really matter what the printer is as long as you, you know, focus and dial everything in. Uh, pay attention to detail. Uh, yeah, you guys really did pick <laughs> a horrible design for DTF. So it was actually kind of fun. I enjoyed the challenge. And, uh, you know, there's some great prints up here. So uh, this really does mean a lot, and I appreciate it. Great. Yay. Thanks, Spencer. Congratulations again. Um, yeah, we'll have to take a picture 
once we, we wrap up here, but congratulations and thank you for competing in the second competition. Thank you everyone who was involved. Um, I definitely urge you to take a look at all of the different shirts. You're gonna see so many variances in color and feel. Um, Jeremy did give notes for every single person involved, so you can even take a look there and see what they used. Um, and before we, we go, did you wanna say anything about why you chose Spencer? Oh, sure. Yeah. So there were three that we kind of came down to, and I think, if I remember correctly, there was like one subtle difference between Spencer's and the one that got second place, and that was around the letters, in between the color part of the letters and the white outline, there's a little faint black area. He knocked that out, and the other one didn't. Otherwise, there was very minimal differences between them, so again, it was that attention to that little spot there um, made a huge difference. And if you guys do have questions on the notes that I put on some of your shirts, because that's at the last expo, that was the biggest feedback we got was people that didn't win. We weren't able to give really feedback as to why we maybe eliminate, eliminated your design. So feel free to come ask me and I'll, I'll give you some, some tips on what I saw. Um, but yeah, it was just that attention to detail that made Spencer win. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, congratulations. One more round of applause for Spencer. Um, so definitely stay tuned for next year's contest. We'll be announcing the winner at DTF Expo, which is April 1st through 2nd in Mesa, Arizona. Attendee registration opens October 8th. If you want to be an exhibitor or interested in sponsorship opportunities, those are available now. Uh, thank you again to our judges and our sponsors, iGroup Technologies and DTF Superstore. So, okay, thank you so much and congratulations again, Spencer.